My last video showed failure of a Starlight Crucible when I attempted to put it in an induction heater and melt iron in it. So I've made some new um, Starlight Crucibles here. This one is in an aluminum oxide crucible. I just pasted it on the inside. This one's on the inside of a plastic cup. Just covered the inside of a plastic cup with the uh, Starlight material. And this one doesn't have anything. It's just plain Starlight. It's cracked up a little bit, but it should still work. So what I'm gonna do at the suggestion of one of my viewers is, is to carbonize the inside of each of these by heating it up with a torch until the whole inside of each of these crucibles is covered in a thick layer of carbon foam. And then I'm gonna test them in the induction heater. Okay, induction heater set up. We're gonna test this bauxite crucible containing a starlight crucible inside it that I've carbonized and I've got a metal rod in there. And the induction heater actually got rid of the capacitor bank because with a full bridge induction heater like this one, you don't really need to have this capacitor. Now adjust the current setting so we have maximum current here guys. Piece of metal's heating up quite a bit. Very nice. Okay, well, let's see what's left of this. It looks like it's mostly just disintegrated charcoal and that the body of the crucible hasn't really held up. So, looks like it failed again. Um, don't see a lot of it left. It's just a bunch of crumbs, basically. That's all that's left of it. Seems like um, I'm gonna have to uh, think about the formula and I'm starting to think about silicon-based products. So, you know, silicone and silica gel or sand, as opposed to cornstarch and sodium bicarbonate as an alternative to this. So we'll keep you posted and please don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.